But it appears that not only are some of the senators not willing to stand and be counted, they're prepared to stop anybody from being able to be counted. I mean, it's almost mind-boggling. I served in the Senate for 36 years, and you got 13 senators, including the minority leader, saying, I will filibuster proceeding on dealing with this national tragedy. It won't even proceed. Now, maybe between now and the time it gets to the floor, they will, as my mother would say, they will have seen the light. Maybe that will change. What an embarrassing thing to say. Imagine what they're saying, gentlemen and ladies, in other capitals around the world today. I'm, I'm being serious now. Just close your eyes and imagine. The rest of the world follows everything we do. I've traveled almost 700,000 miles around the world. I promise you, just in the last four years, I promise you, in sophisticated capitals and less sophisticated capitals, they all reported on Sandy Hook. They all reported on Aurora. They all re What do you think's being said today in those capitals about us? No record cap in some big database. No information about the prospective gun. They don't even know whether you actually purchased the gun. Because you may go up and say, this is the gun I want to buy when you're in Dick's. And as you do your background check, your wife comes and says, hey, we can't afford that. And you don't buy the gun. So they don't even know whether you actually purchased it. All it says is, if this person wants to buy a firearm sold in your store, you're allowed to sell it to them, period. No central registry for anything. No way that Uncle Sam can go find out whether you own a gun because we're about to really take away all your rights and you're not going to be able to defend yourself. And we're going to swoop down with Special Forces folks and gather up every gun in America. It's bizarre.